What is going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. Hope you're all doing very well. We're in 10.0.7. I'm going to do a couple more videos on 10.0.7 because it's coming literally on the 21st of March, I think, right? It's like next week. So I want to do some prep videos for you guys to get you um, up to up to speed with what's going on because there's actually a ton of stuff going on with this patch. It's really crazy. So um, I'm going to talk about a couple of different classes and then I think in a few days I'm going to do like a wrap up video and talk about everything that's coming in 10.07 because there is quite a bit. But today we are focusing on Mistweaver Monk and we are going to talk about the changes that are coming to the talent tree specifically because there are some massive ones that are coming here and the implications that it might have on your gameplay and your rotation. So there was a big blue post here. This is the actual official post from Blizzard on the 10.0.7 changes. But here it is here. Mistweaver changes. So let's read through a couple of these. We're making some few a few quality of life Mistweaver Monk updates focused on the availability of instant cast healing. That is a really big uh, theme here for sure. Shaylin's gift is an and its associated modifiers becoming more predictable and making the global cooldown attached to invoking Chiji or Yulon an immediate impact. This is like... It's actually insane, the buffs that are coming through for uh, Mistweaver. So let me, let's just get into it. Number one, first and foremost, Thunder Focus T is changing. Blizzard just talked about wanting to improve the instant cast availability for Mistweaver Monk. Well, there you go. Enveloping Mist immediately heals for 2300 when you use Thunder Focus T. And it is now instant cast. This is insane because you can combo this with Focus Thunder and get two charges of it off that are both instant cast. So you can see here, if I pop my Thunder Focus T, I'll do my little breath thing, and then my next two enveloping mists can be instant cast. Boom, boom. There you go. And you can see right there, it, it's done about 10% of my healing. It's huge. Like, this is really, really good for Mistweaver Monk who wants to be doing damage to do healing. You want to be pressing Feline Stomp. You want to be getting the damage out with Rising Sun Kick, Blackout Kick, your Tiger Palms. You need to be doing damage as a Mistweaver so you don't really have time to stop and cast an Enveloping Mist. So in my mind, it makes something like Focus Thunder or even T of Serenity giving you a chance to potentially empower your next two um, Enveloping Mists. Like Those are really potent in my opinion here now. I think especially Focus Thunder where you can get two instant cast enveloping mists out so now you could actually pop chi g and then pop thunder focus t and do two enveloping mists right away and your chi g or just do one enveloping mist and then do your a uh, dps rotation and your chi g when you do an enveloping mist he's gonna do um he's gonna breathe on everybody as well right because of celestial harmony um when um well active chi -G will heal up to six nearby targets with Enveloping Breath when you cast Enveloping Mist. So, again, it's over six seconds. So you might want to wait on that one. But what you could do is you can summon um, Invoke chi -G. Let me just show you really quickly here. He's going to breathe on everybody when you cast Enveloping Mist. So here we go. We're going to go... Let's just start it up here. We're going to go Feline Stomp. We're going to breathe. Let's do chi -G. Okay, we're going to spin for a second. Now we're going to do enve Enveloping Mist. chi -G's going to breathe on everybody once again. And then he would do that for a little bit of time. And then you could do another enveloping mist. Boom. There's a second instant enveloping mist. And he would breathe on people again. And you'd be good to go. That's that's kind of how that would work. So you can keep the chi healing going. You can see enveloping breath was our top heal. Isn't that insane? That It was our top heal. Did 250k right there. That's just from me pressing enveloping mist. And then waiting for a little bit. And then enveloping mist. Two instant enveloping mists cause him to do a whole bunch of breathing while he's out. Okay. So... This change to Thunder Focus T might seem really, like, inconsequential. I think it's massive. This is a massive deal to the fist-weaving playstyle. I want to be doing damage. I want to be pressing my other buttons. I don't want to stop and cast Enveloping Mist like this. I don't want to be doing this. I don't ever want to be stuck in an animation like this. I want to just be doing damage. I don't know why that's off-center. That's driving me crazy. Edit mode. Yeah, put this right here. There we go. There we go. Right? See what I'm saying? You don't ever want to be doing this as a Fist Weaver. You want to be spinning. You want to be doing Rising Sun Kick, etc., etc. Okay? That's the first big change. Zen Pulse doesn't require an enemy anymore. Not a huge deal, but um, that's just a little quality of life thing there. This next change is massive. Also underneath Invoke Chi G and Yulon is, again, this buff. It's called Celestial Harmony now. I guess they renamed it. What was it called before? 
Uh, they said it was called... Da -da 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 -da. Enveloping Breath. Now been named Celestial Harmony. I don't know why they made that change, but they did. So there you go. This is really cool. So here's what it says now. When activated, when you activate Yulon or Chiji, you're, um, they apply Chi Cocoons to five targets within 40 yards, absorbing about 25,000 damage based on my my um, item level right now, which is only 386, by the way. I don't have a lot of item level on this guy yet. Um, okay, so you can see in the last fight that we did, there's the Chi Cocoon right there. Look how much healing that did. 123k, right? Because five targets times 25 is about 125k, right? Um, so really, really cool extra bonus healing there. Every time you activate your celestial, you can get this down to being a one minute cooldown down here, right? Reduce the cooldown of evoke GG by two minutes, but decrease its duration by 12 seconds. So you have a one minute GG or a one minute Yulon, whatever you want to do. Every time you press that button, you're getting 125,000 shielding on everybody. Really good. Like awesome stuff. An excellent buff for us. This is a massive, massive deal, I think. It's just because it's not a huge shield. Like 125k shielding spread out amongst five targets is not that big, but it's that you get to do it every minute. Every minute you get to keep throwing it out there. So I think it is a big deal that they've added this in, and it's a welcome change. Uh, I really, really like this change that they've that they've added in. Awesome stuff. Um, let's move forward here. The Shaylin's Gift is the last thing I want to get to. I think that's all I need to talk about. Yes. Okay. So the third and probably the biggest change here is going to be uh, Shaylin's Gift. So number one, they are buffing the healing from Shaylin's Gift. So here it is here. Shaylin's Gift healing is increased by 20% just straight up. And now it triggers Mastery Gust of Mist exclusively onto its primary target. So you're getting additional healing from Gust of Mists onto your primary target, which is fantastic. That's a good extra little healing there. Shaylin's Gifts Clouds are now reset upon raid boss encounters and Mythic Plus Start. Fair enough. Now they're doing something to the Shao Hao Lesson. So first of all, Lesson of Fear um, has its haste de decreased by uh, 5%. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Here's the big one. Shao Hao Lessons are now displayed uh, as a tracking buff indicated which lesson will be learned on your next cast. So if you look at this here, you can see on the top of my bar up here, your next Shaylin's Gift will teach you the Lesson of Fear, which of course gives me, decreases the damage that I take, increases my haste by 20%. Really, really good. Of course, it's it's determined, the duration of the gift is always determined by how long you're staying in combat, of course. But you can see even now I could press it as my first Shaylin's Gift here. I'll press it. There we go. And I've got my buff for a very short amount of time because I only have one cloud. But now we can see, now that I've used the Lesson of Fear, it's telling me the next lesson is going to be Despair, which is the big one. The Despair one is the best one. Or sorry, no, it's not, not Despair. Anger is the best one, in my opinion. Anger is absolutely insane. Let me show you one of my old... Uh, let's go back up to here. Look at this. Look at how much Lesson of Anger did. I was just doing damage with Lesson of Anger. It doubles your damage and your healing, right? So it duplicates your damage and healing every four seconds. It did 254k healing and... It did an 100k DPS, um, or 100k damage total, sorry. 4.6% of my damage just from the duplicating of it. So this is interesting. Now you'll get to see which buff is coming up next. You can see Despair. I don't know how much this is really going to matter to everybody, but it's just interesting quality of life kind of feature there. Finally, guys, there's actually a new talent for Shaylin's Gift right at the bottom right corner here, Legacy of Wisdom. Shaylin's Gift heals two additional allies, and its cast time is reduced by 0.5 seconds. Actually a really big deal. Again trying to reduce the amount of time that we're standing still casting any buttons at all. Um, Blizzard's doing a really good job recognizing that uh, Mistweaver really wants to get in there and do damage. You want to be pressing Feline Stomp, spinning Crane Kick. You don't want to spend time standing there casting abilities. So Shaylin's Gift healing two additional allies is also a really big deal. It only heals three allies baseline, but now it will heal five. It heals the friendly target and then up to four nearby allies per cloud absorbed. This means that it'll guarantee in Mythic Plus, it's guaranteed to actually heal the number of people that you want it to. In Mythic Plus, there can be a really big problem with Shaylin's Gift and that it's not a smart heal, unfortunately. I wish it was, but it's not. Um, it just has a really hard time sometimes healing the targets that you want or healing the exact right target that you want for the amount that you want it to heal for. But now, because it heals five targets, it really won't matter at all. 
it's going to mean that you can just cast it without worrying about it, and you're guaranteed to get all the people healed that you want to. Here comes a big Shaylin's gift right here. The cast time is really quick. Boom, you get it off, and you go back to spinning. And you can see the amount of healing it just did right there. It was the top heal, even though I spent a bunch of time, although my Awaken Phelan, if you put it all together, would be the top heal. But it does so much healing when you combo it, actually, with Veil of Pride, getting a cloud every four seconds instead of every eight, if you don't want to take the Shao Hao Lessons... Um, uh, node, which I actually really prefer just to take Veil of Pride. So this is a cool combo. It makes the cast time much quicker. It means you're, again, less time standing still casting. So that those are all the buffs coming to Mistweaver. And let me tell you, these are some massive buffs. Again, Legacy of Wisdom and the Thunder Focus T change to Enveloping Mist, making them instant cast or lower cast time. So you're spending less time just channeling spells and more time pressing your melee uh, buttons. Yulon or Invoke chi -Gi, have an instant proc right away when you press them. They will put shields on five allies. Really, really big quality of life there. And then, of course, as I mentioned before, the synergy between the enveloping breath that comes out from your Celestial and the instant cast enveloping um, mist that comes out now because of Thunder Focus T. Those are really, really good combos there. You might want to take Focus Thunder. It might be a priority now. You can double up on your enveloping mist to have a massive cooldown with chi -Gi there, just breathing on everybody and um, healing them for quite a bit. So finally, of course, the Shaylin's Gift um, down here getting the new talent, Legacy of Wisdom. Some big buffs to Mistweaver and uh, Shaylin's Gift just getting higher, uh, just 20% more healing in general. So... Awesome stuff for Mistweaver. I'm really excited, actually, to continue healing on this thing. I've really fallen in love with it. It's like my second favorite healer now, I think. Um, maybe, I guess, you know, Shaman really has a, a place in my heart. But I'm really enjoying Holy Paladin and Mistweaver. I would put them as, like, tied for second on my favorite healers to play right now. Really, really enjoying it. So, uh, definitely uh, jump in and play this, guys. If you haven't been playing it, it's going to be buffed on 10.0.7. That's coming in a week. In a week, it's going to be here. So these, this is not in 10.1. This is coming right around the corner. So jump on your Mistweaver Monk and have a blast. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you all on what you think about the Mistweaver changes that are coming. Let me know. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I love you all. I will see you next time.